What needs to be done? Look, a military encampment's a complicated thing. I don't expect it to be as peaceful and orderly as Holy Mass. But what we have here now is havoc. The men are as nervous and short-tempered as caged bears. When you walk around the camps, you'll see for yourself. Grumbling everywhere, complaints about everything from the gruel to the fleas. They're moaning they've drunk the alehouse dry, and now they have to wait for the next batch of beer. We've got dead who deserve a decent burial, and a lot of wounded, including one of their lordships. The less the troops grumble, the better off we'll all be. But that's not even the main problem. What do you mean? Did you hear what Sir Divish was saying to Fafar, our master builder? I heard some of it. And what did you make of it? He said he'd never built a trebuchet catapult. I wouldn't even know where to start, but he might. But, if it'll take him as long as he said, we can't wait until Judgment Day. We don't have that much time. I'll try to ask him if I can help in some way. You should definitely do that. Without a trebuchet, we're much too weak. How are you faring, Sir Robart? How do you think I'm faring, lad? There's some cutthroat thug lolling about in my bed at the castle. Well, at least no one's raised Talmberg. Not so far. Though we may end up doing it ourselves to smoke the bastard out. I imagine Sir Divish isn't taking it too well. And why do you think he handed command over to me? But it pains my heart, too. That place is my home. What's the easiest way to take back Talmberg? The easiest way? <laughs> Call in the Royal Army and leave it to them. But there's no Royal Army to help us now, and we can't afford to wait. What's more, we don't want to destroy the castle. Personally, I'd like to return to it. Repairing the castle will be expensive. And time-consuming. No trebuchet is wholly on target. The missiles fly as they please. And if we blast the castle to pieces and Sigismund comes back, he'll make short work of us. Do you think Sigismund will come back? How do I know what's in his head? But if he doesn't take advantage of this chaos, someone else probably will. The whole country will know about it soon enough. I'd never have thought so many people were keeping an eye on Talmberg. Like that fellow Havel. Not only Talmberg, and we've left precious few men in Retai. If we're defeated here, who's to stop them from pillaging the whole province? And there's no shortage of power-hungry bastards like Havel and Toth in Bohemia. Is there some way we can get through the gate? There are steps from the gate up to the walkway on the battlements, and I don't know how Istvan's covering them. Then there's the portcullis to get through. A big battering ram might breach it, but how could you get one that close? I reckon we'll have to set fire to it. Stuck up brushwood and light it? Brushwood, timber, anything that burns, soaked in as much pitch as possible. The local charcoal burners surely have some. And even if it doesn't burn the gate right down, it'll weaken it and make it easier to break through. Exactly. And what about the walls? Which side is the most vulnerable? The south and east are solid. It would be useless to try anything there. It's best defended from the north, and as for the west... From the west is where we tried it, and got royally fucked, if you recall. But I think in the end we'll try that way again, only this time we'll do it better. Pity they didn't stay holed up in Vranik for longer. It would have been much easier there. Toth is a wily fox. If he'd had all his men with him there, there would have been real carnage. It's likely we only won there because he'd already gone and taken most of his best soldiers with him. Is there anything else I can help with? Well, we need some pitch. I know you had dealings with the charcoal burners. I've met a few, true enough. Then have a look around the area. If you manage to find any pitch, bring it to our quartermaster in the camp at the quarry. Good luck, then. The Lord be praised. Sir Robard sent me to you. He said you have to build a trebuchet. Indeed. A trebuchet that can smash the walls of Tamburg. Aye. A mining engineer. What do I know of war machines? I'll never manage it on my own. Well, I'd like to help you, but how? 
I don't know anything about trebuchets either. Actually, there is a way you could help. Conrad Kieser came to Sasso recently. If you could get him to come here, it would save my skin. Conrad Kieser? Who's he? He's a scholar who studied medicine, but he also designed siege engines. He even took part in the siege of Nicopolis, together with Sigismund. You're still an engineer, though. Couldn't you build it yourself? Are you serious? Do you know how complicated such a machine is? What forces are at work in the contraption? If we were lucky, it wouldn't fire at all. Far more likely it would smash itself to smithereens and kill lots of us instead of the enemy. He was with Sigismund. It's not so straightforward. They quarrelled after the battle, after Conrad blamed their defeat on Sigismund. Hmm. I don't suppose he took that too well. Quite. That's what led to Conrad being banished from Prague and making a base at Bethlehem Castle. Banished? Like a common criminal? He was a member of the court and a doctor and a master engineer, so nothing quite that bad befell him. I've even heard he has a whole host of wise men with him and they're writing some book together. What's he doing here in Sassau? They sent him over here to help with building the monastery. No doubt they had to pay handsomely to get him. And how am I supposed to get him here? Abduct him? Well, only if all else fails. We need his cooperation. Try having a word with him. By all accounts, he hates Sigismund. All right, I'll do what I can. Thank you, Henry. Maybe we will build that trebuchet after all. Good luck then. God be with you. How are we doing with the food? Who wants to know? One of their lordships? No, no. I just wondered if there was anything you're short of. Oh, I see. The lordling is wondering if we're in urgent need of anything. Well, well. To tell the truth, we don't have much meat. They bring it round often enough, but never as much as they should. Yes, I've heard something like that. <laughs> I'll say. Every other man's moaning on about it. The gamekeepers are doing all they can, but they can't keep up. So if you know how to help them out, bring it right here. I'll take care of the rest. Fine. I'll keep that in mind. Do we have any beer? Christ, I wish we did. Our ale's all gone and we've drained the local inn dry. <sighs> That's bad news. Don't I know it. You can't go and catch a beer in the woods either. But if you happen to know about some, let's hear it. News like that, it refresh me almost as much as a drink. And the lads, too. I brought you some meat. Stack it over here. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. I'm looking for some pitch for Talmberg. Already? What happened to the last lot we supplied? I don't know, and it doesn't matter. Do you have any, or don't you? I do. I had a buyer lined up, but it's been a while since he showed his face. What do you need it for? Talmberg's been taken by a horde of brigands, so we're laying siege to it. We could use some pitch. Christ, blood. I hadn't heard the news. All right, it's all yours. You gave us a hand with that ginger when we needed it, and if it's for Sir Divish, I know my duty. If you want to haul it away yourself, feel free, or I can get someone to deliver it to you. Thank you. God bless you. Farewell. I'm at your service. Do you happen to know the whereabouts of Conrad Kieser? And what do you want from the old butt? 
Ah, never mind. What do I care? It's the big house in the courtyard by the monastery. May the Lord watch over you. God save you. Is this where Conrad Kieser lives? Indeed. The world renowned Conrad Kieser. World renowned? If not yet, then soon. Our Master Kieser is a mastermind. You wouldn't believe the things he comes up with. You'll be hearing more of him. You mark my words. I need to speak to him. Oh, really? Whatever for? I need to talk about a shipment of new weaponry for the custodian. Oh, really? What kind of new weaponry? Um, r really, really tough ones from the land of Master Yan. Forged from lunar steel. <laughs> you got an imagination, I'll give you that. But you clearly know absolutely nothing about weapons. Tobias Feyfar has sent me. He is asking Master Conrad for help with the siege of Talmberg. Hmm, must be important then. Go in. Although I don't know how he can help from here. Here's the key. God be with you. By the horn of Joshua, you startled me. I thought you were urban. What do you want? Sir, Tobias Feyfar, the master builder and engineer from Scalitz, sends his greetings. Feyfar? Tobias Feyfar? I've heard of him. He invented an interesting mining machine. Uh, what does he need? Sir, have you heard what's been going on in Talmberg? I've heard a thing or two. Is it true the castle's been taken? It has, and we want to take it back. Master Feyfar has been given the task of building a trebuchet, but he's not sure he can manage it. I doubt it myself. Uh, building siege engines is an entirely different kettle of fish than mining. Damn, I'd like to rain some boulders on those heathens of Sigismund's. But that can't be done with a quill and parchment, and I can't leave here right now. Why can't you leave? That's a long story. I was a little... Uh, more than a little critical of Sigismund's efforts at Nicopolis. And it might surprise you to know, after that defeat, he didn't particularly appreciate my criticism. Then when Sigismund abducted the king, I didn't feel too secure in Prague, so I left. Hmm, perhaps left is the wrong word. Uh, some might say I was banished. In any case, I went to Betelurn Castle. They locked you up in Betlin. <laughs> Not quite. It's a royal castle. Uh, they leave me to my own devices there. Frankly, this so-called banishment has been a bit of a blessing. I have peace and quiet to attend to my opus and a band of able assistants. Although I have lost quite a few of my patrons thanks to all this unrest. And why are you here in Sasa? To be honest, I need the money. Money, sir? You don't seem like a man who lives in want. Dear me, no. I don't need it to support myself. It's to fund my opus. Uh, that's why I agreed to help with the construction of the monastery. So, you see, I can't simply take my leave. 
What is it you're working on, sir? Belly Fortis. A great book of war machines and weapons. My opus magnum, my legacy. All you have seen here are but snippets of my great work. Mark my words. One day, our whole world will be run by machines and inventions not yet dreamed of. <laughs> of course. Any day now, they'll plough our fields and milk our cattle. Uh, what did you say? Oh, uh, nothing. Just thinking aloud about uh, things for battle. Who do you work for here? My contract is with the abbot himself, but I discuss the work details with Carol, the monastery's master builder. Could I not just pay off the master builder for your services? I doubt it. Carol is only interested in the construction. As long as he has the money to pay the craftsman's wages, that's all he needs. Ah, as long as he has enough for wages, you say? Yes, what are you thinking? Could I help you escape, perhaps? Who says I want to? But you said you couldn't leave, sir. Young man, I can't leave because I gave my word I'd help with the building of the monastery here. And my word is my bond. I have no intention of sneaking away like some criminal. Couldn't Carol be persuaded somehow? After all, the defence of the province is at stake. I realise that, but Sassar Monastery has always kept its neutrality. Uh, what's more, the abbot isn't here at present, and without his permission, Carol won't be persuaded. But I might have another idea. What do you suggest? Carol received his commission in writing. If you found it, we could, uh, well, we could copy the abbot's seal and signature on our own document. That's a curiously interesting idea. <laughs> My inventiveness has many applications. I could be back here before the abbot, so he won't even know I was gone. How do I get my hands on the commission? It will be somewhere in his quarters. You need to get it quickly and put it back before he notices it's gone. I suggest waiting until evening. That's when Carol usually goes to the tavern to play dice. He's fond of his dice. Maybe you can take advantage of that somehow. Right. I'll see what I can do. You really can't come with me right away. Damn. I'd like to rain some boulders on those heathens of Sigismund's. Hmm. Look here, I don't...
God be with you, lad. I've got that commission. Not so loud, for heaven's sake. Show it here. The very thing. Go to the Sassau scribe and say to him, the fox isn't half as clever as he thinks. Then he'll do as you ask. Is that a password? Just so. He insists on it. Don't forget to repeat it verbatim and aloud. Then all you have to do is take the new document to Carol and tell him a messenger brought it. All right. But most importantly, do it quickly and put the commission back immediately. Carol's no fool. If he can't find it, he'll put two and two together when you bring him the new document, and the game will be up. Yeah. Yeah. My respects to you, sir. I have a message for you. Hmm? The fox isn't half as clever as it thinks. What? Um, the password about the fox? What in heaven's name are you blabbering about? Conrad Keyser sent me. Why the hell didn't you say so? That sod. He deliberately lied to me to make me look stupid. Well, never mind. What do you want? I've got this document here and I, I need to have a different one drawn up with um, the same signature and seal. So Conrad is still up to his old tricks. Give him my greetings. Let's see it then. Hmm. All right. Give me an hour. And I hope I won't have problems on your account. Good luck to you. Is it done? Here you are. And pass on my best to the old dragon. Take care now. Yeah. Yeah. I'm glad to A messenger brought a dispatch for you. To hand over a charge to give assistance. Permission to leave Sassau? Hmm. 
How very convenient for you. The hand of fate. We'll see what fate brings. I have an authorization letter of my own from the abbot. And if your letter of patent is fake, you'll be in trouble. Come with me. God be with you. Goes against the grain, but the seal and signature are genuine. So Conrad may leave. He can. The letter of patent is genuine, and when the abbot commands. Wonderful. I'll tell him. Sweet Jesus, I knew this day would come. What? Who is? Carol said you can leave and... Leave? I can't even set foot outside the door. Not now. Please, calm down and tell me what's going on. <sighs> They're after me. Who? Who's after you? Sigismund's people, of course. Why would they be after you? because he's never forgiven my criticisms of Nicopolis. Now he's decided to pay me back. What am I to do? What makes you think someone's after you? When I was on my way to Sassau, I saw Baron Pekar in Kostelitz. He was with Sigismund on the crusade, as was I. Now I've been told he was seen at the local tavern. And a stranger's been creeping around the gardens here late at night. My God, there are signs someone was trying to force the door. They're after me, Henry. The Lord preserve me. They want to kill me. Take it easy. 
If someone's after you, I'll see to him. I'll have a sniff around the town or lie in wait for him. I don't know. What if he sneaks past you? He won't, I promise. I'll hide in the garden, and if anyone starts creeping around after dark, I'll catch him. You will, won't you? Good, good. And be sure to hide well. If he sees you, he won't come. <laughs>